God bless in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. People say, I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. And someone will slander them. Hallelujah. Someone will falsely accuse them and they want to turn away from Jesus. Hallelujah. They say they believe in Jesus and they want to get offended because someone slanders them. Hallelujah. How will you be able to stand in real persecution if you get all offended when somebody slanders you or somebody speaks evil of you and you want to turn away from Jesus? Hallelujah. Your faith has no fortitude to it. Hallelujah. I hear these people, they say, faith alone, faith alone, brother. You're preaching works. I'm encouraging brothers and sisters to do good works for the kingdom, to be a worker for Jesus. And they say, oh, brother, you're preaching works. Faith alone, faith alone. These faith alone people that say all oh, faith alone, they can't stand in persecution. Hallelujah. I'm out there in the streets and I get spit on. I get cussed out in my face. I get punched on. Hallelujah. And I don't believe for one moment that these faith alone believers could go do that. Because these faith alone believers that say faith alone, faith alone, they don't do nothing. They have no fortitude in their faith. And when the persecution begins to get stronger, hallelujah, no, they're going to fall away. Hallelujah. They're going to fall away because they don't have no root in them. Like it says in the book of Mark, the scripture in the book of Mark where it says the sower sows the seed and the seed falls on stony ground and immediately the people, they hear the word and they receive it with gladness. Hallelujah. And the scripture says they have no root in them. And when persecution and tribulation comes because of the word, hallelujah, immediately they stumble. They fall away from Jesus. And this is how it is with many people. Hallelujah. They hear God's word. They hear it with gladness. They say, I believe, I believe, faith alone, faith alone. But when tribulation and persecution comes because of the word, hallelujah, they can't stand. They fall away, the scripture says. They stumble. They have no fortitude. They're not grounded in God's word. Hallelujah. They're not grounded in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's times when I was in the streets and people got angry at me and they attacked me. Hallelujah. What did I do? I got back up and began preaching some more. Hallelujah. I didn't stop. I wasn't afraid. I wasn't fearful, but I counted the cost to live for Jesus. Hallelujah. We have to count the cost to live for Jesus. Hallelujah. We have to count the cost of being hated by the world. We have to count the cost of being persecuted and slandered and spit on. Hallelujah. We have to count the cost. Hallelujah. And it's going to cost you. You're going to have to have some fortitude in your faith. Your faith has to be real. Hallelujah. If you got fake, fraudulent faith, your faith will not stand on the persecution. If all you have is, I believe, I believe, I believe, faith alone. If that's all you got, hallelujah, you won't have the fortitude to stand in persecution. You're going to stumble away. You're going to be offended. You're going to get all in your emotions and you're going to stumble away like the sower that sowed the seed and they heard the word of God, they received it with gladness. 
but they had no root in themselves. And the scripture says, when tribulation and persecution came because of the word, immediately they stumbled. Hallelujah. And this is what happens to many people. People come and slander them. Hallelujah. Their family turns against them. Hallelujah. They get falsely accused. And they want to turn away from Jesus. There's no fortitude in their faith. Hallelujah. They have not counted the cost. Hallelujah. Jesus said you have to bear your cross. What do you think the cross is? Hallelujah. What do you think Jesus is speaking about? Hallelujah. Suffering. Persecution. Hallelujah. Jesus was nailed to a cross. You think that our Lord is going to get nailed to a cross and you're going to follow Jesus and you're not going to be nailed to that cross? Hallelujah. You might not be nailed to a physical cross, but you're going to be nailed with slander. Hallelujah. You're going to be nailed with false accusations. Hallelujah. You're going to be nailed with people spitting on you. Hallelujah. And saying all kind of evil things about you. Hallelujah. You're going to get nailed with maybe some physical opposition. People might put their hands on you and punch you. Hallelujah. You might not be nailed to a physical cross. Hallelujah. But you're going to get nailed with persecution. If you're going to walk with Jesus, if you're going to be faithful to Jesus, if you're going to be obedient to the Lord, hallelujah, you have to count the cost. I've counted the cost. Hallelujah. I've endured hostility and hatred from the world, and I look forward to enduring more. Hallelujah. The world is going to hate you, Jesus said. Hallelujah. The false church is going to be offended at you. False Christians. Hallelujah. If you're going to be faithful to Jesus, you got to count the cost. You can't turn away from God because people are slandering you. Slandering you. you can't turn away from God because false Christians are, are coming against you. Hallelujah. you got to have some fortitude in your faith. you got to have it in your heart that, you know, whatever happens, you're going to stand with Jesus even if you have to stand alone. Hallelujah. You have to bear your cross. And if you don't have real faith, you won't be able to stand. If you don't have real faith, if you don't have fortitude in your faith, when persecution comes, when people slander you, when people come against you, you're going to want to turn away from Jesus. And a lot of people, they do that. They get all in their feelings, and they get offended, and they want to turn away from Jesus. Hallelujah. You have to count the cost. Praise the Lord. You have to die to yourself. That's what living for Jesus is all about. It's not about living for you anymore. Hallelujah. The Greek word for witness in the Bible is martyr. Hallelujah. Jesus died for us so that we don't live for ourselves anymore. We live for Jesus. Hallelujah. And if we have to die for the Lord, hallelujah. Like Paul the apostle said, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Hallelujah. To be with the Lord is a whole lot better than being down here. It's just you have to be attached to heaven. Hallelujah. To have that mindset. If you still have that carnal, worldly mindset, you don't want to be with Jesus. You don't want to be with the Lord. To live as Christ and to die as gain is not something that's going to sound appealing to you. Hallelujah. It's going to turn you off. Hallelujah. But to the real Christian, hallelujah, they want to be with the Lord. To the real Christian, they want to be faithful to God and to live as Christ and to die as gain. And if the world persecutes them and if everyone turns against them, hallelujah, they got fortitude in their faith and they're going to stand with the Lord. Hallelujah. And they're not going to turn away. You have to build yourself up strong in the faith, brothers and sisters. 
Hallelujah. You got to have some fortitude in your faith because persecution is going to come. And in these end times, the persecution is going to get a lot stronger because the Antichrist is coming. The spirit of lawlessness is already at work. Hallelujah. Anybody who has eyes to see can see that. It's time to get some fortitude in your faith. Hallelujah. Faith without works is dead. Hallelujah. You have to put some action in your faith. If you got dead faith, you won't stand in persecution. If you got a dead Christian life, you won't stand in persecution. Hallelujah. You have to have some fortitude in your faith. You can't turn away and backslide because people are slandering you because the world is coming against you because of Jesus, because you're witnessing Jesus. Hallelujah. This is what we signed up for. Hallelujah. We got to count the cost in being a disciple like Jesus taught us in the book of Luke. Hallelujah. We're going to be persecuted. We're going to be hated. Hallelujah. But we have to stand in persecution. We can't turn away. Hallelujah. So this is a word of encouragement. Don't turn away from God when persecution comes. Get you some fortitude in your faith. Hallelujah. Strengthen yourself in Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't get all in your emotions when people slander you and say evil things about you. Jesus said this will be happen. Jesus says, blessed are you when you persecuted for righteousness sake. Hallelujah. We say we should praise God when it happens. Hallelujah. After I would get persecuted in the streets or get beat up, I'd come back and I'd go into prayer and I'd just be thanking the Lord, getting into prayer and the Lord by his spirit would strengthen me. Hallelujah. And I'd go back out and preach. Hallelujah. And preach again and preach again. Hallelujah. Jesus said the gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness. And then the end will come. Hallelujah. But we can't let persecution make us turn away from Jesus. We have to be willing to die for Christ. Be blessed today. Be encouraged. In Jesus' mighty name.